In the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious, loving God, the creator and sustainer of our life. We want to thank you and praise you for this wonderful Easter morning that you have given to us. Along with the community at large, as we are celebrating the joy of salvation and the very resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, help us to understand your love, care and trust and the eternal life that you have been providing us. We want to thank you and praise you for this wonderful day. Lord, we commit each and every one of us in your mighty hand. You are the risen Lord, always being with, with us in the midst of our struggles, agony and pain that we experience in our daily life. Continue to be with us as we are worshipping our resurrected Lord. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Let us sing hymn number 147 for the glory of God. Hymn number 147. Turn to page number 68. Let us continue to worship God. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on this most holy day in which our Lord Jesus passed over from death to life, the church invites her members 
dispersed throughout the world to gather in vigil and prayer. For this is the Passover of the Lord in which, by hearing his word and celebrating his sacraments, we share in his victory over death. Let us pray. Eternal God, who made this most holy day to shine with the brightness of your one true light, set us aflame with the fire of your love and bring us to the radiance of your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all times belong to him and all ages. To him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. By his holy and gracious, glorious wounds, may Christ our Lord guard and keep us. Amen. Rejoice, heavenly powers. Sing choirs of angels. Exult all creation around God's throne. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. Christ. Sound the trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, O earth, in shining splendor, radiant in the brightness of your triumphant King. Christ has conquered. Glory fills you. Darkness vanishes forever. Rejoice, O Mother Church, exult in glory. The risen Savior shines upon you. Let this place resound with joy, echoing the mighty song of all God's people. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right that with full hearts and minds and voices, we should praise you, the unseen God, the Father Almighty, and your only Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who has ransomed us by his death and paid for us the price of Adam's sin. For this is the Passover of that true Lamb of God, by whose blood the homes of all the faithful are hallowed and protected. This is the night when of old you saved our fathers, delivering the people of Israel from their slavery and leading them dry shod through the sea. This is the day when Jesus Christ vanquished hell and rose triumphant from the grave. This is the day when all who believe in him are freed from sin and restored to grace and holiness. Most blessed of all days, when wickedness is put to flight and sin is washed away, lost innocence regained and mourning turned to joy. A day truly blessed when heaven is wed to earth and all creation reconciled to God. Therefore, Heavenly Father, in the joy of this day, accept our sacrifice of praise, your church's solemn offering, and grant that this Easter make our, our darkness light. For Christ, the morning star, has risen, never again to set, and is alive and reigns forever and ever. Please be seated. Let us hear the record of God's saving deeds in history, how he saved his people in ages past, and let us pray that our God will bring each of us to the fullness of redemption. Now the Old Testament passage will be read.
hear the word of god as it is written in the book of exodus chapter 14 verses 5 to 31 book of exodus chapter 14 verses 5 to 31 when the king of egypt was told that the people had fled in the minds of pharaoh and his officials were changed towards the people and they said what have we done letting israel leave our service so he had his chariot made ready and took his army with him he took 600 picked chariots and all other chariots of egypt with officers over all of them in the lord had in the heart of pharaoh king of egypt and he pursued the israelites who were going out boldly with the egyptians pursued all of all pharaoh's horses and chariots his chariots rivals and his army they overtook them camp by the sea by pyharioth in front of balsiphon as pharaoh's rear in the israel's look back and there were the egyptians advancing on them in great fear israel carried out cried out to the lord they said to moses was it because there were no graves in egypt that you had taken away and died in the wilderness what have you done to us bringing us to egypt is not the very thing we told you in egypt let us alone and let us serve the egyptians for it would have been better for us in the service egyptians that to die in the wilderness but moses said to the people do not have afraid stand firm and see the deliverance that the lord will accomplish for you today for the egyptians whom you see today you shall never see again the lord will fight for you and you have only to keep still then the lord said to moses why do you cry out to me tell the israel's goes forward but you are lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it that the israel's may go into the sea on dry ground when i will harden the hearts of israel egyptians so that they they will hold the after them and so i will gain glory for myself for pharaoh and his army his chariots and his chariots rivals and the egyptians shall know that i am the lord when i gain the glory for myself for pharaoh his chariots and his chariots rivals in the angel of god who was going before the israel army moved and went behind them and the pillar of cloud moved from the in front of them and took his place behind it came between the army of egypt and the army of israel and so the cloud was there with the darkness and lit up the night one did not come near other all night then moses stretched out his hand over the sea the lord drove the sea back from the strong east wind all night and turned the sea into the dry land and the waters were divided when the israelites went into the sea on dry ground in the waters forming a wall from them on their right on their left in the egyptians pursued and went into the sea after them all pharaoh's horses chariots and chariots drivers at the morning was the lord in the pillar of fire and cloud looked down upon the egyptian army and drove the egyptian army into panic he clouds their chariot will so that turn with the difficulty in the egyptian said let us flee from the israelites for the lord is fighting for them against egypt then the lord said to moses stretch out your hand over the sea so that the water may come back upon the egyptians of their chariots and chariots drivers moses stretched out his hand over the sea and the down the sea returned to the normal depth as the egyptian fled before it and the lord crossed the egyptians into the sea the waters returned and covered the chariots and the chariots drivers in the entire army of pharaoh that had followed them into the sea not one of them remained but the israelites walked on the dry ground through the sea in the waters forming wall for them on their right and their left thus the lord saved the israel that day the egyptians and 
Israel saw the Egyptian dead on the seashore. Israel saw the great work that the Lord did against the Egyptians. So the people feared the Lord and believed in the Lord and his servant Moses. Here ends the lesson. Let us rise and read responsibly the psalm selected for the day. Let us read responsibly the psalm appointed for the day. Psalm 118 verses 14 to 29. Psalm 118 verses 14 to 29. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will not die but live and will proclaim what the Lord has done. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. The Lord has done this and it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Lord save us, O Lord grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine upon us. With bows in hand, join in the festal procession up to the thorns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks. You are my God, and I will exalt, exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Seated, second lesson will be read. The second lesson is taken from the epistle to the Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 to 11. Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 to 11. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, 
whatever in you is earthly, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. On account of this, the wrath of God is coming on those who are disobedient. These are the ways you also once followed when you were living that life. But now you must get rid of all such things, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices and have clothed yourself with the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of its creator. In that renewal, there is no longer Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is all and in all. Here ends the lesson. Hear the word of God as it is written in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 28, verses 1 to 10. Matthew chapter 28, beginning from the first verse. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised as he said. Come see the place where he lay. Then go quickly, quickly and tell his disciples he has been raised from the dead. And indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to, him, said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. See me. This is the Gospel of Christ. Let us sing hymn number 127 and after the, sing, uh, after the hymn, I invite Reverend Jacob B. Devasiachan to lead us in the ministry of the Word of God. Hymn number 127.
In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Respected Bino Jacob Achun, Respected Matthew Matthew Achun, members of the Church Committee, and the dear friends in Christ. I wish you all a blessed and happy Easter. Along with all the members of the Christendom, we are joining today to celebrate the very resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bill Gaither and Glory Gaither, the husband and wife duo, has written one of the famous hymns that talks about the very resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Jesus is risen. That is the very message that we infer from all the gospel passages that talks about the fulfillment of salvation that we have received from our Lord. Resurrection is a crowning event in God's redemptive history. It is the cornerstone of Christianity, foundation of the gospel. It dominates the preaching of the gospel. Most importantly, it is the essential truth of Christianity. Today, as one community in Christ, being the members of the Christ Church, we are participating in the greatest victory. The theme that has been assigned for this morning meditation is Resurrection, celebrating the joy of salvation. The word celebration comes from the Hebrew word Hagak, which means to prepare, keep or observe a feast or a festival. The first lesson we have read from the book of Exodus has written in the context of the very deliverance of God's people from Misraim and to the land of Canaan. But when we look at the very history of Israel's community, their festivals and celebrations, the Passover marks the passing from slavery in Egypt to freedom in the promised land. They celebrated around the temple. Being a community in Christ, being Christians, why we need to celebrate this day? This morning, when we met together, before the worship service and even in our WhatsApp, we got the message and the greetings from our friends and we greeted each other, Happy Easter. Why? It brings us joy. The word joy refers to the extreme happiness with which the believers contemplate salvation and the bless and the blessing of the afterlife. Today we are remembering an unexpected benefits that we received from God and express in terms of common experiences. <laughs> 